We, we just slow learners. Um, I thought we had learned a lesson when we played the team from Switzerland, uh, Royal Leopard. But it seems as if we, we just have this tendency that we must work on of conceding the early goals. Uh, we want our team good start is important, positive start is important. Uh, but yeah, you two goals down and west from set place, uh, which we must work on. Uh, but what was positive is that uh, before we even scored, I thought we created uh, better chances. Um, deserved penalties, I think. I think we also deserved another penalty uh, second half. But having said that, we, we it's a good fight back from our team. Uh, normally, after such a result, uh, the, the game is sealed. Uh, but I thought we created the better chances. But we still have that same sickness that we, we just don't score the chances that we create. Uh, deserved to win, and but I still think that we should have scored more goals. I'm just disappointed that we considered from set plays. It's unlike us, uh, but we have to work on that. But I'm proud of the boys for the fight back, proud of the team and everybody who has contributed that we, we, we fought that hard and we, we got the result. Karabo, you've been noted. Please go ahead and ask the question. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Osandi. Uh, good evening, Coach. Uh, Well-deserved victory. <laughs> uh, you. Coach, for, for a lack of a better word, Coach, you really, really looked uh, relieved uh, tonight. You really did look uh, relieved out of that victory. Is, is, is that is that how big a victory it means for you, considering that you guys are now, uh, you know, uh, swiftly uh, looking to to compete for the second spot? And uh, uh, for the end of the season, Coach, how big a victory is this on the scale of, of what you guys are trying to achieve? Thank you. We just have to run our own race. Uh, the relief was 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 not for me. I, I think I'm just a smaller piece in a bigger puzzle. Uh, I, I, I just get stressed uh, for the amount of effort from the team, uh, the frustration that the supporters, uh, we're not giving them what they want. Uh, really, it's not about me. Uh, this is about results and the team getting results and getting what they deserve. Uh, but having said that, we win your games that are remaining let's see where that takes us there is still a possibility mathematically it's still possible that we can finish a uh, second position depending what other teams are doing we just have to focus on, on our own lane and win our matches it was good that we want to take confidence in the team we're going away uh, to play the calf uh, it's important that you go there with that confidence but i'm just happy that there was a good fight back from our team uh, normally after such a setback you don't come back. Uh, it was clumsy, not the best of football matches, but maybe we had to resort to that because you could see the opponents were just prepared to play from second ball. Uh, they're not building the attack from the back. So we went for clumsy. The conditions in the field also determined that you can't play pretty. So we went for the fight. Uh, I'm happy that we won the fight. Coach Lorenzo from Itesky Times. Um, just one, Goodman Mosele. Um, you know, after his old debacle with the Bafana thing, he obviously was low on confidence. And you know, a lot of the fans were saying that he's, he's, he's not aggressive enough. He's not, you know, positive enough as a midfielder. But now in these last two games, two assists, he scores the winning goal here. What exactly did you work on and what did you tell him to, to get him out of that little slump that he had? And are you confident that we're going to continue seeing the best of Goodman Masele going forward for Pirates and notably also for the national team? Because at his age, is, he could be an important part of the South African football future. Thank you. Uh, Masele is, is, is a good player. Uh, like I said last week, uh, this is less. There's more to come from him. Maybe, maybe what happened to him, uh, I understood clearly uh, because I'm maybe from the same background. So maybe one good thing that uh, one should give credit to uh, was the initiative from the national coach. Uh, he wanted to meet him and I accompanied him. Uh, we had a meeting between the head coach of our national team, me and Mosele, and we ironed out issues, maybe make him understand that some of our players go through a lot. And, and I understood better and I'm happy that the coach accepted 
uh, the apology and, and understood uh, Mosele's situation. But on the playing field, Mosele is, is a top player. Uh, I think there's more to him. Uh, let him go and play in the national team and come back and contribute to Paris, but top player. Uh, coach, once again, uh, on the Pirates, this entire season has not really considered a lot of goals from corner kicks, and we saw that they considered two goals from uh, from corner kicks this season. Uh, uh, is that something that really disappoints you, considering that you know African clubs really like to use you know uh, uh, set pieces for for scoring goals? And uh, secondly, coach, how are you planning on working? Uh, into not conceding early in, in, in the opening exchanges because that has really been your Achilles heel this season. So what is the plan? How are you uh, planning to ensure that you guys do not concede early but rather score early than the opposition? Thank you. Maybe we're starting with the last one. Uh, when you start badly, there could be a number of variables. Uh, firstly, maybe the mentality is not right, uh, which I suspect sometimes. Maybe the warm-up is not right. Maybe we think it's too easy. Uh, and if that is the case, so one, I can't point out on one issue. We just have to check on all variables. What could be the possibilities? It's not what one uh, would expect for such a team to concede uh, so early and west from set place. We have not been a team except for the match against Mamelodi Sundowns. Uh, we have not been a team that concedes from set place. So one, we have to look at the structure, whether our structure, uh, zonal marking is still functioning properly whether we go for mixed marking, whether we go for men on men, or whether we change personnel. But sometimes if the structure is working, you have to change the personnel or train that and see who functions better on the structure. We, say, we still have to analyze what exactly is not working in the structure of ours of defending said place. It's too easy uh, for a team like us should not concede goals uh, from such positions. Coach um, Temba Shabalala Joseph from Sports. Coach, uh, I just need to quickly find out something. Um, the travel arrangements for tomorrow. Now that you guys have played, the team has won. Um, I'm travel arrangements. I know that you're going to, uh, away to JS Aura. Um, I, I picked, I, I'm also informed that you're traveling tomorrow morning. The recovery coach and everything else that has to happen. How are you then looking into all of those nitty gritties before the game away? Without giving too much, uh, maybe it's something that is not within my jurisdiction to, to disclose. Yes, correctly pointing out, we're traveling tomorrow. Maybe what I can highlight is that uh, what is important is recovery. You can train. Uh, it's a long chain uh, where, where if you travel to that country, you have got connecting flights, uh, you have to wait at airports. But it, it, it is the pattern of playing in such competitions. We're not complaining. We just have to do what we have to do. Uh, try and get a result um, uh, in that country, uh, come back and uh, continue with the journey and the remaining fixtures that we have. But it's important that we must get the results uh, from the two matches that are remaining, uh, whether we, we, we win uh, against Chase Saura, whether we play a draw, and then it will be important that we, we make sure when we play at home that we win the match. Uh, evening coach, it's David from Indesky Times. Congrats on the win. Um, Bafana, uh, Hugo Bros has called up three Pirates players to Bafana, um, Chandu, uh, Monare and, and Mosele. And, um, he was very, um, praising Pirates for, you know, for the season and the, the experience on the African continent, continent. Um, does this make you proud, you know, that you have three players in this coming squad for Bafana? Thanks. We, we, we really proud as a team. Uh, it just shows you that, uh, for, for, for a national team coach who's got a very good eye uh, in seeing good players. They, they look at the game that we play. I think our model of the game, we're playing a good game. Uh, if you take away the results and draws that we have played and look at our game, put the results and get the results, get three wins from the three draws and look at how we play. I think we're one of the teams that play the correct game. Maybe the coach is not looking at results like everybody. He's looking at the quality of players in positions. And one must give uh, praise to the coach for doing that. I thought the players that he selected are good players and they are doing well. And credit to the coach for selecting them. Um, evening, coach. Uh, I think, coach, with, with respect, of course, coach, you've spoken about um, the challenges that you've come up, that you've, you've faced this season, you know, I think with the injuries and 
and obviously not converting them the, the, the huge amount of chances that you continue to create. Um, but when you just when you when you look at yourself and the work that you've done, how how do you access it? Do you feel that you know you did enough? You know, just uh, in terms of the expectations from the job and the position that you occupy. And uh, just secondly, I think early this season you spoke obviously in confidence with uh, your expectations for, for 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 Tyson. You know, but I think when one looks at the numbers and obviously he continues to uh, to be missing for the side uh, that didn't go according to plan. What do you think went wrong, and and, and maybe where does he need to improve and uh, and change? Thank you. Any coach uh, who works at Pirates wouldn't be happy uh, for the position that the club is in. Uh, the club has got uh, uh, demands that are clear. Uh, when you when you join the club, uh, they make a presentation. So we are clear that we are far below uh, the expectations that management have placed in front of us. Uh, I acknowledge that uh, we are not where we are, and uh, it will be bad of me to make excuses uh, of why we are not where we are. We just have to keep on working um, on what we can control, scoring the chances in front of goal. Um, uh, you even saw today uh, how many balls were flying in front of goal. That, you know, the match that we played previously, uh, just a tap in, uh, you score a goal, and then you let in goals uh, that are unnecessary. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's the blame goes to the coach. We accept uh, we have not met uh, uh, the requirements. But it's building blocks uh, when, when it's like this and, and you know what is the problem. And I think we have the capacity to change uh, things for the better. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the media, in the absence And Tyson, coach. Yes. Oh, sorry, sorry. Tyson is training well. Uh, he, he had an injury. Uh, he was training well. Uh, I think currently he's in competition to, to, to be in the team. Uh, but one thing I like about him, uh, maybe that shows his experience. His attitude is always great. Uh, he trains well. Uh, he supports the team, even if he's not part of the team. And very soon we'll see him in the field of play.